Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your boy F-O-O-T-I to the Big E here back once again with another video. So today is another match day vlog. Um, myself and one of the little steps is off to Newcastle. We're off to see Manchester United versus Newcastle at St. James's Park, the home of the Magpies. Um, been there many, many times before. Very, very mixed results I've had going to Newcastle. Um, I'll probably tell you about them on the way uh, when I do my little match predictions. But yeah, I've had mixed, mixed um Game results going to Newcastle over the years. Today, what am I spec out today's game? To be honest, it's just a battle of two absolute poo-poo teams. And we're going to see who the worst poo-poo team out of the two is, really. Um, both bang out of form. Both can't score goals. Newcastle scored four goals all season. Man United can't score more than one goal, if even that, in games since their opening game against Chelsea. So, yeah, it could be a boring 0 nil draw or a very low-scoring draw. Or the referee could just give up at half-time because it's so boring and go home. So... We really don't know what aspect of today, but it should be enjoyable nonetheless. Now, match day blogs are always fun to do. It is currently 20 to 10 in the morning. Um, it's a two hour drive down to Newcastle, but the weather is not particularly good this morning. So we're going to head off in a minute. Um, so if the traffic's bad and the weather's bad, I don't need to rush and we can take our time. Um, kick off 4.30. So, you know, got more than enough time, but I'm ready, up, dressed, all that lovely business. Um, the little one's ready as well. Got our tickets. And we'll see you on the other side. Yo! So we're in the car. We're ready to go. Um, the little steps is just quickly running some bits into a mum that we had to pick up before we went. Um, the rain has already started, people. The rain is here. And the rain is real. So apparently it's supposed to be a torrential downpour. So hopefully it's not too bad. So we can get there in one piece. But as it's... 10 to 10? I think it's time to go get some breakfast. I think so. Nice bit of breakfast for a nice two-hour drive. Why not? Hey, Sunday, live a little. Midfield is going to be Scott McTominay, I would have thought. I have this horrible feeling one matter, and also Matic is going to play, which I hope is not the case. Um, I hope that he's a bit more bolder than that and he puts Pereira in. Um, but I have a feeling he'll put Pereira on the right-hand side, and I'll think Dan James will be on the left and it'll be Marcus Rashford down the middle. Me, personally, I would like to see Scott McTominay in midfield. I can cope with the one matter. Um, even though his legs are gone. I would rather have Matt and Matic. Um, I would like to see Pereira in that midfield as well, to be honest. Um, and I would like to see um, Mason Greenwood be given a start up top with Rashford and Dan James. It, personally, in, in my opinion, I don't know if Oli's going to do that. Um, Subit's got to give sooner or later, but United's been on a poor, poor run of form. Um, we haven't run away for God knows how long. The W's got to come somewhere. Newcastle are coming off of a 5 0 walloping from Leicester. Not always a good thing because Newcastle did want to go out there and prove a point um, and give the fans something to cheer about. Something about Newcastle fans. Newcastle fans are some of the best fans in the Premier League. They deserve better than what their board and their team were giving them at the minute. Um, even last week when they were losing 5 0, they were still singing. So they're great fans, they deserve a lot more than what Newcastle have given them over the years. So Newcastle will be looking for a response. Man United, I just can't see them ever scoring one or more anymore if they even score the one. I mean, you have to look at Europa League the other night. I must have fallen asleep about three times watching that game. It was really, really bad. Um, so 
we need to get through this. I personally was not Ollie out. I like Ollie, you know, Man United legend and all that. But I am getting tired of the tactics because I can't see what he's actually trying to achieve. Um, it's all right saying wait till January, but who are you realistically going to get in January? Not no one of any sort that's really going to make a difference because most of the people that Man United would be after, or at least be interested in, you've got to say will be in the Champions League or Europa League, and their teams are going to want to keep them. So, you know, James Madison's one. All right, fair enough. James Madison's decent. Unless they're going to want to sell another one to us, I don't know, personally. Um, they're talking about Musa Dembele. All right, he was great for Celtic, doing his business at Leon. To be honest, Rashford ain't an out-and-out goal scorer, so I would probably take Musa Dembele at this point. Um, but again, these are not players that, when you think about United, you really think of. So, I don't know what's going on at the minute. Bruno Fernandes seems to be the one that, you know, we should have got in the summer and we missed it. Um, that create The creativity in our midfield is non-existent. We have no creativity in the midfield, and that is half the problem. Um, but to be fair, on the other side of the coin, Rashford has had chances, and he has missed them. And he's, and he's wasted chances. So, Rashford's not doing great himself. Um... He just looks like a guy that's burnt out, really and truly. I think he just played too much football and he's really, really burnt out. So that's my starting 11 that I think will play today. Um, when we get to the ground and it's announced, we will double check that and we will see if I'm right. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I really don't know what to think of today's game. John Joe Selby back from Newcastle. He always does well against Man United, so <laughs> it's going to be another one of them ones today, I think. Um, also, after the game, I'm going to see if I can get round to the United Stand fan cam and get on the United Stand fan cam. So, if I do, I will tell you later on in this video so you can go watch it later. But that's another thing. Um, I've already spoken to Flex um, from the United Stand, so I've got to pop around and hopefully catch them. Um, it all depends, to be honest, it all depends how the game goes and it all depends how I'm feeling afterwards because obviously you have to take into consideration it's still a two hour drive home for me and the game finishes at half six as well, so it depends how busy the fan camp is and everything, so. Um, yeah, so fingers crossed, and you know what time it is, people. It's montage time. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us
the ne team news is in from Manchester United. De Gea does start in goal. De Lock starts at right back. Um, Axel Twan Zabi is playing centre back with Maguire. Lindelof is out. Um, Ashley Young at left back. Um, so they're finally not. I was right. Matic is not playing. Um, Fred's playing with McTominay as a holding midfielders with Mata, Herrera, James, and also Marcus Rashford up top. So hopefully that midfield can create something for Rashford to go on and score some goals. Um, as I said earlier, I'm not really holding much confidence in that. Um, so yeah, I wasn't far off the starting lineup, so let's just see what the game brings.
two minutes stoppage time. Two extra minutes.
So what's going on people, that's me back from the Manchester United versus Newcastle game at St James's Park and I will be honest with you, I was absolutely disgusted with what I saw from the team today, I'm, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it, I'm not even going to lie, um, I didn't even bother hanging around to go meet the United stand lot and do fan cam like I'd already arranged because you know what, I was absolutely disgusted. If they'd filmed a video with me after the game, they probably wouldn't even be able to put it on YouTube. I was absolutely raging. Um, I wasn't Oli out. And I've got to be honest, after that, I am Oli out. But it's not just Oli. The board's got to go. Oli's got to go. The players, the players are a disgrace to the club. They really are. Like, seriously, none of them today worked their nuts off for the game, for the team. None of them. None of them was there to work their, their nuts off for the calls. Even McTominay was not even giving it a hundred percent today. It was awful. Um, what can you even say? What can you even say? I said to you at the beginning: these are two, 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 two pop teams that cannot score a goal, and that's exactly what it saw. At least Newcastle had ambition; they had a little bit of hunger about them. At least they would like the Maxi Maxi Min Santi Maxi Min, and he was taking on players. All right, he might be shooting wide, but at least he's trying. When's Rashford picking up the ball and and scoring or going at it? Um, nothing just nothing it's just not it's just not good enough anymore it's not it's you know there's no creativity in the team we've let ourselves too weak we've let Lukaku go who is a miles times better than Rashford we've let Sanchez go at this point he's probably better playing better than Rashford um we have got nothing we are thin the squad is dead on its knees and we've only just literally started the season um it's 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 not it's no good it's not good enough anymore we can't wait till January I said earlier about them being patient to January. We can't now not wait till January. We cannot keep Ollie at the wheel if this is what's going to carry on. There was nothing in that team performance today that even showed me that he had a clue of what was going on. Kept on chopping Dan James and um, Pereira over left to right. I mean, what's the point? What's the point? I mean, a couple of times Rashford tried to make runs. And Pereira was the main culprit of this one. And Fred, to be honest, were holding on to the ball too long. And he was offside by the time they released it. I mean, it's a joke. And Juan Mata is dead out here. Juan Mata's legs are gone. I was watching Juan Mata, right? And I was thinking, if he went and played walking football with OAPs, he'd get outpaced by them. Seriously, he is that slow. His legs are dead. There was times where I was going to run down from my seat, get on the pitch and hold his hand and pull him along. You know, because that's what you do with old people that can't walk very well and run very well. You help them along if they need a helping hand. And I felt like I had to do that with Juan Mata today. So... Yeah, we gave him a three-year deal, two-year deal, like three years. Mate, Man Matter is dead out here. We might as well have just played, um, might as well have just played Matic today, personally and honestly. Um, Delot, dead. Maguire, tried, least tried. Um, nah, there's no, there's no positives for me to even take for this game. So, thank you for joining me again on a Match Day vlog. And I'm signing out here right now before I go away too overboard and this is your boy F W O T I I to the big E sign that once again if you like the video hit the like button if you're the first time seeing this video and you liked it hit the subscribe button I'm always back with match day vlogs whether it's Newcastle Celtic Man United Hibs we've been there we've done them all we're going to try to do more and more more cities and more and more clubs so that's what the aim is on footset sports so that's what we're going to do but I'm signing that on this one a disheartened and dejected but you know what? I think I'm at the point where I don't care anymore. I'm out of you guys. Bless and peace, people. Take care.